Welcome to Flix Studio Recaps channel. Today I am going to explain an American romantic comedy movie The Perfect Find released in 2023. Before we begin we kindly ask that you subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video since this will help my channel grow thank you. One year after being dumped by her long-term partner Brian, who was a defining figure in her life for the past decade, Jenna Jones, a 40-year-old woman, faces the additional challenge of being kicked out by her own mother. Returning to New York City, she decides to change her career path and enter the field of beauty journalism. In order to find employment, Jenna must reluctantly ask her frenemy Darcy for a job at Darzine. Surprisingly, she is offered the position of creative director on a three-month trial basis. That evening, while out with two close friends, Jenna spontaneously kisses a man who is 15 years younger than her. The following day at work, Jenna discovers that the man she kissed is Eric, Darcy's son and the new videographer for the company. Jenna and Eric find themselves collaborating on content for the magazine's subscription relaunch. They agree to keep their previous encounter a secret. However, their first day working together on a visit to the reclusive Greta Blumen turns into a disaster. They argue and spend the entire weekend without speaking to each other. On Monday, they call a truce, and Jenna invites Eric to a dinner she and her friends are hosting in order to introduce him to Jimmy, a perpetually single man with a confrontational attitude. Jenna and Eric spend some alone time together after the other guests leave. The following day at work, Jenna expresses to Eric how their conversation about old films has inspired her. She proposes doing a tribute to classic couture called Perfect Find. They manage to enlist the participation of several designers who offer limited edition pieces, as well as some influential figures from the media to help promote the project. To celebrate their successful campaign, Jenna and Eric take a walk together on the Brooklyn Bridge with a bottle of champagne. Just as they agree to take things slow, they find themselves back at Jenna's place. It is during this encounter that Eric shares his desire to create a film about his late father, Otis, who died when Eric was only two years old. In return, Jenna opens up about her past relationship with Brian, whom she met in college, as they were both high achievers and eventually became a power couple. Brian's longing for Jenna becomes evident when he is featured in Forbes, where he expresses his feelings of missing her. The New York Times contacts Darcy to feature her as a prominent figure in the media for the success of Perfect Find. The number of subscriptions surpasses 1 million, and when the article is published, the focus is primarily on Andrea and Eric's collaborative work. During a children's party, Jenna displays signs of jealousy towards Eric's ex-girlfriend Madison. As a result, Eric becomes angry, ignores Jenna's calls and messages, and ultimately leaves the party. Upon returning home, Jenna finds Brian waiting for her. He informs her about the passing of his mother, and in a compassionate gesture, Jenna offers to drive him home. Eric witnesses this encounter but declines Brian's invitation to enter Jenna's place. The next day, Eric fails to show up for work, claiming to be editing at home. Curiosity gets the better of Jenna, and she secretly visits Eric at Darcy's penthouse. They reconcile, but their intimate moment is interrupted when Darcy catches them. Consequently, Jenna gets fired from her job, and Eric does not come to their defense. Eric moves into his own apartment and dedicates himself to working on his own film project. After New Year's, Jenna eventually convinces Eric to meet her at a cafe. She reveals to him that she is expecting a child by showing him the first sonogram. However, Eric reacts angrily and abruptly leaves. Later on, Darcy visits Jenna's apartment and announces that they are now family. Having been disowned by her own parents, Darcy raised Eric on her own but she wouldn't let that happen to her grandchild. Eric eventually accompanies Jenna to her next obstetrician appointment and discovered they are having a son after which they attend the upcoming Darzine Gala together. 
If you enjoyed the movie, kindly drop a comment and tell us what you think about the union and its future outcome and remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting movie recaps.